one organic compound that forms an important and useful ligand for transition metal complexes is 2,4-pentanedione, also known as acetyl acetonate. One of the features of this compound is that it has two carbonyl groups. A carbonyl group is a carbon doubly bound to oxygen. One of the important features chemically of carbonyl groups is that when we have a hydrogen atom, such as this one, that's directly attached to a carbon right next to the carbonyl group, we say that this hydrogen is alpha to the carbonyl group, just as this hydrogen is alpha to the carbonyl group, those hydrogens are relatively acidic. In a compound with a single carbonyl group, we can abstract this proton, we can remove the hydrogen using very strong bases such as sodium hydroxide. In this case, we have a particular situation where we have two different carbonyl groups and they are sufficiently close to each other that this hydrogen and that hydrogen are alpha not just to this carbonyl group, but to this carbonyl group as well. When we have this situation, where we have a hydrogen atom that is alpha to two carbonyl groups, the hydrogen atom becomes very acidic and it is quite easy to remove the hydrogen. Typical bases that will remove the hydrogen are things like ammonia and sodium acetate. If we react the compound 2,4-pentane-dione with a sufficiently strong base, such as sodium acetate or ammonia, for example, we can abstract one of the acidic hydrogens that are alpha to the two carbonyl groups. So in this example, let's remove this particular hydrogen as H+. If we do that, we are left with a anion, which we call the ACAC -ac minus ligand. The really interesting thing about this particular ligand is that it is a bidentate ligand. The negative charge of the anion is delocalized over oxygen, the three carbons, and this particular oxygen. We have lone pairs here and here on the oxygen, which can bind to a metal which will tend to be in this particular position. In the process, we end up forming a six-member ring. We recall that five and six-member rings form easily, therefore they are quite stable. And these ACAC ligand rings are quite stable. With a typical ion, if we have a plus two metal ion, we can have two ACAC ligands bind to it, if we have a plus three metal ion here, we can have up to three ACAC minus ligands bind to it. And these uh, transition metal complexes are very stable and the compounds that result have interesting and useful chemical properties. One, 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 five, 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 hexafluoro, 2,4-pentane-dione is another organic compound that is a useful ligand for transition metal complexes. We can think of this compound as 2,4-pentane-dione, where each of the hydrogen atoms that had formerly been part of the methyl groups at the end, at the 1 and 5 positions, have been replaced by fluorine atoms. In this particular compound, we have lots of electrons. Each of the fluorines contributes seven valence electrons. Each of the oxygen contributes six valence electrons. Each of the carbon atoms contributes four valence electrons. And each of the two hydrogen atoms contributes one. Therefore, we end up with a 76 electron system. With compounds like this, it's easiest to begin knowing the general structure and proceeding from there. Again, we have two carbonyl groups in our compound, and we have two hydrogen atoms that are alpha to both of the carbonyls. Therefore, the hydrogen atoms are going to be acidic, 
and easily removed by relatively strong bases such as ammonia and sodium acetate. Since the hydrogens on the number 3 carbon are acidic, if we react them with base, we can abstract the proton. So for example, let's remove this particular hydrogen atom, and it leaves behind this electron, so we're left with a negatively charged ligand, a 1115555 hexafluoroacac ligand. Again, these five atoms, two oxygens and three carbons, will bind with a metal in this location to form a stable six-member ring. Since the anion has a minus one charge, if the metal here has a plus two charge, it will bind with two of these ligands. If the metal has a plus three charge, it will bind with three of these ligands. 